Bring that fuse out good now. Oh, I will. Straighten that out. I'm going to get the sander down a little bit. All right, Ted. Here we go. All right, let's go. That was a close one, Dirk. Oh, never mind that. See, that blast must have gotten him. You fellas find out what happened, and I'll change his tire. All right. I hear Tom Hood. Let's get him out of here. Take him up to Wilson Cabin. How about his friend Colin? Oh, we'll leave him here. Good work, boys. Throw him in the car and we'll take him to Wilson. We were followed by a car of bandits. Hey, Edwards, was anybody seriously hurt? The men picked up one of your party. They took him back to the city, back to the hospital, I guess. He was all in. One of our party? Yeah. It's Tom. Tom. My Tom. son. Uh, we've got to hurry back to the city at once. All right, I'll get you a car. We'll get this one out of here. It isn't smashed up, bud. Come, Betty. We've got to hurry. Get him inside. You don't make your legs? Hey, just a little. Little part of it. There you are, Chief. Frank, drive yes. him to town and hurry back. All right, Chief. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. And hurry, will you? Hurry, my, my boy. Are you all right, boy? Hurry, hurry. Now we've got him here, and we're going to keep him here. I don't miss you. Yeah, if he doesn't pass out in our hands. There's some liquor in that sideboard, Gavin. Give him a shot of that. Right. Liquor? I'll get it. Here's the liquor bottle. Oh, he's coming too, all right. He won't need that stuff. Come on, tie him up there. here with young Hood, but I take Gavin and the boys in. Well, how about the eats? Oh, I'll send you some up this afternoon. But you keep that young whippersnapper tied up until I see Slater. I'll keep that fighting fool tied up, and don't you worry about that. Well, see that you do. You got him securely tied, Gavin? That'll hold him. All right, clear out. with our plans for the last time. Now, this 
knife has a razor edge. And it's within easy reach. Now try to get it and cut yourself loose. <laughs> Give an eye on it, Spike. I sure will. I'm going outside and sit down under a tree. If you want anything, call me. <laughs> but I tell you, Chief, we've got to find them. Miss Moore and Mr. Collins, Mr. Oh, Mr. Burke. Any news of Tom? And not a word. We searched every hospital in town and we can't find a trace. I'll anymore. run these crooks to earth if I spend the rest of my life. I'm going to the Red Lantern. That's a hangout for some of that gang. And if I get my hands oh, on it. Oh, it won't do you any good. Why, Slater spent two hours there and they couldn't learn a thing. Slater's a partner of yours, Mr. Hood. But I haven't a bit of confidence in anything he says or does. Hey, what's that? I'm going to the Red Lantern. And I know he doesn't like Tom. Take Kate and me with you, Bob. She's waiting downstairs. Oh, you better keep out of this. There may be trouble. Well, if there's going to be trouble, you'll need me. Well, all right, come on. I'll find Tom, Mr. Hood, if I have to whip everybody in the Red Lantern. All right, Bob, you keep in touch with me. We will. What's the matter with you, Gavin? Are you getting cold feet? Now, you take that food and stuff and go up to the cabin and stay there and help Spike. Take these bracelets up with you. Oh, Spike don't need any help. He's got young Hood all tied up. Besides this, sir, I'm going to have a talk with Slater. Or I help turn another trick. Are well, you going over my head, eh? Yeah, I put you on this job, didn't I? Now listen, we're going to try to put this last big shipment of gold through. And I don't want Tom Hood interfering. Well, what's in it for me? Oh, you'll be treated all right. Do you know me? Yeah. You're all right, sir. But I have pulled a lot of dirty work around here and got nothing for it. Well, listen, this is the big cleanup. Now, the chief has had a lot of people on his payroll, and you'll be treated all right. Now, come on, let's get it. All right. But I'd just like to know where I stand, that's all. Is. Well, I'll take you into the police and they'll sweat you. Oh, I ain't gonna tell you nothing. <laughs> okay. Come over here, Kate, and drive this car. I'm taking this bird in. I'm taking him into Mr. Hood's office, Betty. You follow us. All right, Kate. Let's go. Good work. 
Yeah? Oh, here's Slater now. I'll tell him. Lynn said everything's ready. Good. Now, Dirk, this is going to be our biggest trick. With young Hood secured in the cabin, and his meddlesome friend Collins is looking for him, we have practically a clear field. How about your trusting partner, old Hood? Oh, we won't worry about him. He has but one thought right now, to find his son. Listen. Now, this is what we're going to do. Just... Now, listen, Gavin. You're going to talk. I don't know a thing. You know where my son is, and you're going to tell us. I tell you, I don't know. Come clean, Gavin, and we'll protect you. You mean that? Of course we do. You'll give me your word you'll protect me. I said I'd protect you. All right. Then I'll tell you. He's up at Professor Wilson's cabin in Big Pine Canyon. What? I'll... They took him back there? I'll get him. I'm oh, going oh. with you. No, Betty, not this time. It's too dangerous. You'll take my advice, young lady. You'll stay out of this. Better keep an eye on him, Mr. Hood. And if he's lied to us... Oh, I ain't lying. I'll watch him. Good. I'll keep him here till you get back. Kate, I'm going to get that story. Come on, we'll follow him. Oh, the dickens with your newspaper. I'm not going to risk my life again. Kate is right, Betty. You stay out of this. Come on, Kate, you're coming with me. Oh, please. Oh, Betty. This is downright foolishness. I'm not going out in that rough country dressed like this. Now, Kate, that's no excuse. We're going right up to the Department of Change. Now, come on. Oh, please, Betty. Come on. Oh, dear. Let's get this. Fire. Sighted. Canyon. Working toward Mountain Hotel. This road is closed. Are they still working in the tunnel? Yes. You can't get through that way. Besides, there's a forest fire raging in Big Pine Canyon. The Big Pine Canyon? Well, that's where I'm going. I've got to get through. Then you'll have to take the other road. It's farther around, but it's the only way you can get through with a car. Can't get through, miss. Why not? There's a bad fire coming up from Big Pine Canyon. But I've got to get through. I'm sorry, miss. I can't let you get through. Besides, the tunnel is blocked by an explosion. And you can't get a car through anyhow. Well, but listen, mister. There must be a road around here someplace where we could get through. No, there's no road around here, miss. You'll have to go back. Hey, there! Stop! What's the idea? Who is she? You know, it's a serious offense stealing government horse. Oh, well, please don't arrest her, mister. She's after a story and she just had to get through. Oh, all right. You'll have to take me to the ranger station in your car. All right, I'll do that. Come on. As soon as I make this report, I'll be with you. Yeah! 
Bob. It should be close by. I can't tell, though. The fire sees everything. We've got to find him. Come on. Further, Bob. Betty! Betty! Go back! Betty! 